tell Beyonce as a solo artist. I love Destiny's Child, but I was really a Kelly Helper. But Beyonce, you yourself, I have loved <laughs> for the majority of my living on this very earth. Beyonce, you don't have to play nobody like you play in us. You've been rude. You've been rude. Now let me start by saying I woke up yesterday in a very Beyonce mood. I said, let me listen to Homecoming, see what the girls got going on. You know, a little bit of that. Just a taste. Um, and usually when I wake up in a Beyonce mood, because I don't, I'm a big Beyonce fan, but I don't be waking up in a mood <laughs> to go through all the relationship uh, trials and tribulations she be putting in her records, honey. She be putting record trials and tribulations in her records and I'm not a fan of pop Beyonce I'm not a fan of all the same uh, that ain't my girl I don't know her I know that's where the white folks came from and rocking the hood of stardom good for her that's not my Beyonce my Beyonce is a nigga all right all right anyway I woke up in a Beyonce mood I said let me listen to a little homecoming Coachella you ready like yeah girl we ready okay go here say <laughs> you know say, say now honey um and I listen to Beyonce all throughout work and everything and I get on Twitter and find out that the L magazine cover had done dropped and the, uh, the article had done dropped and I said oh I see I see spirit because my spirit always says hey girl check in on Beyonce she got to do something I remember when she dropped that surprise album I was on iTunes just refreshing <laughs> just refre I didn't know she was about to drop this album but I knew she was about to drop that album honey I got over there and I said refresh 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 11:57 Central. St I mean, yeah, 11 was 11:57 or 10:57 uh, Central Standard Time. It was a, no, it was 11 because it was transitioning to 12. No, it was 10 here because it was transitioning to 12 in uh, New York. It was 10:57, 11:57 Eastern Standard. Uh, anyway, child, the album had done popped up on the on the radar, and I scrimped. I scrimped. I hollered. I got my woke my mama up and said, "Girl, I'm about to pay $15 for this Beyonce album." She was like, "Okay." Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> Tell me it was good in the morning. I'm going back to bed. Anyway, but my spirit always tells me when Beyonce about to do something. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit more than this uh, this article. I feel like it's going to be a little bit more than this article. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Anyway, I'm writing y'all to tell y'all. We're not even on the phone call right now. I'm writing you all to let you know that Beyonce is rude. And this is why. She did a little question and answer segment, honey, with the with, 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 with Elle magazine. Um... And these had the nerve. Somebody said, when are we going to get the uh, Formation World Tour DVD? And she had the nerve to say, well, when me and Prince were uh, rehearsing for, you know, blah, blah, blah. We were rehearsing together and I wanted to record the footage. And he said, no, because the footage will always exist in your mind. Uh, and you own that. So you ain't going to get the Formation Tour because you own that in your mind. I said, Beyonce, first of all, what a, a, a odd time to flex that we will never get the Prince footage. What an odd time to flex that. Nobody even asked you about that footage. And here you gonna say, not only are you not gonna ever get the Formation World Tour uh, footage, you'll never get the Prince footage either. You'll never have it. It doesn't exist. Second of all, Beyonce, as much as I admire and love you down boots, I have never seen you live. Because you don't come to my area. So no, I don't have the Formation footage in my mind. I don't have the tour experience in my mind. Beyonce, girl, you was trying to be real cute with that little that little remark, honey. But no, some of us have never seen you live. Some of us do not have the experience in our minds. We don't own that, Beyonce. What are you talking about, girl? Have you lost it? Come on back over here with us, girl. Now, just say I didn't like that too. I don't want to release that footage, or just say I don't want to release the footage. But don't go around telling folks you have it in your mind. No, I don't. No, I don't because you don't come here. You don't come here. Now, what you're gonna need to start doing is coming around this way, so I can come see you. Girl, what kind of ignorant girl? Beyonce, you got me out here speeding. Child, don't I? You know I love you down. But uh oh, did they catch on fire? Looks like it was a little bit of a little piece of a fire down in my out of body shop. Anyway, you know I love you down, but I, as uh Mariah, not Mariah, Mary J. Blige once told Mariah, Mariah Carey, you know I love you, but I wouldn't be a friend or even a fan if I didn't tell you the real. It's real, it's girl. Yes, plenty of people have that footage in their mind. Yes, you sold out. Yes, it was beautiful for you. But girl, I don't have that in my mind. The, I, I don't have any of your, your, your experiences in my mind. The only way I get to experience Beyonce off the record is on the video. Like, girl, release tapes. That's the only way some of us can experience you. It's ghetto. It's real ghetto. And that was a real rude thing to say. 
Now, maybe I'm being a little too sensitive, but I'm probably not. And people are like probably wondering, you know, you say you a fan or whatever, whatever, but you dragging. I'm not, hey, girl, you have to be able to be the type of person who can acknowledge when your fave is incorrect. And I'm that type of person. Okay, I'm a Mariah stan, I'm a Beyonce stan, I'm a Whitney stan, but I can acknowledge when these women have done things that's like, girl, you know, I don't know about that. You know, I can acknowledge Mariah's um, footage from the New Year's specials, and, and it's just like, girl, ooh, okay. I can, I can acknowledge Mariah lip syncing for Jesus. I can acknowledge Mariah lip syncing for um, Walter down the street, honey, because she didn't do a good job sometimes. But she's still my fave. She still sings down and nobody can ever take her place. Not nobody. Nobody. I can acknowledge Whitney being that girl. And I can also acknowledge Whitney being, you know, little Whitney from Newark. Honey, they did a little bit of, you know, a little crap, a little this, a little that. Honey, you better lay low. I can acknowledge every bit of that and still be a stand. So there's no, it ain't no Beyonce is untouchable, you can't. No, I'm going to get her for this one because, girl, I don't own that in my mind. I know you thought you was being cute. You put the little tonguey, tongue face emoji with the eyes and the face sideways. And you was like, oh, this real cute what I just said. But it's not, girl. It's not. Because no. I now I had to drag you a couple, like a year or so ago about concert ticket prices and why you don't come to my city. And now I have to drag you for concert ticket prices, why you don't come to my city, and why you won't release the tapes. Girl. I just... I still love you down. I'm still waiting for your next project. I'm still going to stream it by it and all the things, honey. But, honey, you 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 found yourself right on the tippy top of my nerve with that. You found yourself just dancing, moonwalking, crip walking, getting to the money. Yeah, but you know all your choreography. Same old You had all your choreography on my nerve. On my nerve, honey. On it. Just tip right, right on that nerve. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Like, Beyonce, girl, I don't know what you was thinking. I don't know what you thought. I don't know what your brain was telling you. But no, I don't own that footage in my mind. Prince was being snarky and thought he was being cute when he said that to you. But Prince was private. We let Prince have his privacy. God rest his soul. But honey, that's not a cute thing to say to people. My grandmother, when I say something that she doesn't like, she asks me, do you think that's cute? Beyonce, did you think that was cute? I know you did. Because you put the little emoji. Honey, you really thought. Yeah, girl, they've all, every fan I've ever had has been to the, the tour and you own that footage in your mind. Beyonce, girl. No, ma'am. Absolutely no, ma'am. Absolutely no, ma'am. Now, you know I love you. Anyway, because I'm about to start talking in circles and I really need to get on in here and make this little piece of change. I just. Whatever, girl. Let me get in here. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.